We'll look at one more um, complicated product here where we want to apply the product rule. Um, here it's a product of four things. Um, and so we can proceed the same way we did in part A by deciding how we want to group things. Uh, now, we could do one factor times the other three and then use what we just did for a product of three things. That would work. Or we could, kinda, we could try to group as two pairs, right? First pair, second pair. So we could say f prime of x is going to be the derivative of x to the 4 times e to the x times sine x cos x, okay, plus x to the 4th e to the x times the derivative of sine x cos x, and then apply the product rule again. Okay, so the derivative of x to the 4, 4x four cubed times e to the x plus x to the 4 times the derivative of e to the x, which of course is just e to the x times sine x times cos x. Okay, plus x to the 4 e to the x times the derivative of sine, which is cos x, times cos x, minus, well, sine times the derivative of cos, which is negative sine, right? So minus sine x, sine x. Okay. And again, you're done. Uh, now, if you multiply this all out, you're going to get four terms. And again, you'll notice that um, the first, so the first term will be 4x cubed times e to the x times sine times cos, 4x cubed being the derivative of the first factor in your product. The next term is going to be x to the 4 times e to the x times sine times cos, where this e to the x is the derivative of the second factor in your product. Third term is going to be x to the 4 times e to the x times cos, which is the derivative of the third factor in the product, times cos, which is just that factor, right? So the third one. And then x to the 4 times e to the x times sine times negative sine, which is the derivative of the fourth factor in the product. Right. So in general, no matter how many terms you have in your product, no matter how many factors you have in your product, you just work your way through differentiating one at a time. First derivative times the next three. Second derivative times the other three. Third derivative times the other three. Fourth derivative times the first three. You get those four terms, you add them up, and you're done.